So, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Krzysztof Fenyvesi. All of you, I think, already uh, familiar with me. I'm uh, working in the uh, Experience Workshop uh, STEAM Network, uh, which is located in Finland. And I'm also a researcher uh, in the uh, University of Uvascula, uh, which is the uh, largest uh, university in uh, central Finland. So we were already uh, discussed uh, a lot of uh, aspects uh, of education, educational uh, situation. However, we haven't uh, discussed uh, too deeply uh, yet uh, about uh, STEAM and, and sort of STEAM competencies, uh, STEAM uh, related uh, skills or, or what are those skills and competencies which uh, could be uh, probably uh, developed uh, with the uh, integration uh, between uh, these various uh, approaches. So <clears throat> let's um, have some words uh, about this topic uh, first, and let's see uh, just a few examples that uh, how this approach and other uh, approaches uh, connected to integration, connected to multidisciplinary learning, how these new approaches transforming uh, the uh, educational scene uh, in the uh, basic education, for example. And uh, then uh, we can uh, think together uh, that how this approach, how this mindset uh, could be also uh, implemented uh, in adult education. It's uh, quite uh, interesting, and we will uh, talk about it uh, a little bit, uh, that uh, this uh, potential uh, is not uh, that much uh, recognized yet uh, in the adult education. However, if uh, we take a closer look uh, to uh, what is offered uh, in, in adult education, we can find quite a few uh, approaches, quite a few courses, quite a few learning opportunities, which uh, already uh, based uh, on some kind of holistic, some kind of integrated uh, approach. So, so we can see that uh, this has been implemented, uh, like uh, the combination of uh, different uh, uh, approaches. However, not yet uh, discussed uh, and uh, not yet um, explored uh, in, in all uh, in, in of, of its details. So uh, when we uh, nowadays uh, think about uh, STEAM education, of course, we would like to see uh, that uh, what is the uh, impact uh, of uh, STEAM education and uh, what uh, kind of competences uh, could be developed, could be uh, nurtured uh, with uh, this integrative approach. Uh, and, and how we can compare it uh, with, um, to say so, a traditional uh, subject-based uh, learning. So when we uh, <clears throat> think about it, uh, that uh, what, what, what is STEAM and, uh, and what does it mean uh, to integrate uh, between uh, different uh, competencies, we can see that uh, the lifelong learning uh, perspective and digital transformation is uh, already uh, requires um, a holistic uh, approach uh, in education. We can also see uh, that, um, for example, project-based uh, learning, which is already uh, very well known, for example, in Finland or in many, many countries, uh, it's already part uh, of the uh, basic uh, curricular approaches and also in the teacher training we can see other education uh, context other education communities where uh, project-based learning uh, is something new something not uh, generally uh, implemented just the fresh uh, news on that that uh, for example in uh, spain uh, they just uh, started uh, to implement uh, the project-based uh, concept uh, in all of the basic education uh, schools if i'm if i'm if i'm correct 
However, we can see that uh, there are uh, huge challenges uh, on the side of the teachers that uh, how they can uh, fulfill uh, these um, requirements, uh, these, um, these uh, needs, while uh, they uh, need to uh, keep up uh, with uh, maybe uh, still a little bit rigid, uh, rigid uh, curricular expectations and uh, maybe uh, not uh, all teachers, not many teachers uh, have been trained uh, to offer uh, project-based uh, learning in practice. Maybe they uh, have heard about it, maybe uh, they learned about it, but uh, maybe they, they had no enough opportunities to try it uh, in practice. On the other hand, uh, if uh, you compare uh, the different uh, levels of education, different types of education, it's easy to see that uh, in adult education, uh, we can see uh, a lot of examples of the project-based uh, approach. Many times, many times uh, to uh, get uh, into uh, some kind of crafts, get into some kind of um, specific area uh, is uh, designed, uh, I mean, the learning material, the learning process is designed based uh, on a project. Maybe you make something uh, during the course. Maybe you come up uh, with a with a with an result, with a product uh, as part of the course or, or as, as the end result of this course. And uh, you learn uh, how to uh, how to uh, work on further projects uh, if, if, if you want to use uh, that uh, new skill, that new approach. So, but uh, in the basic education to uh, sort of upgrade uh, the uh, educational uh, scene uh, into, uh, into uh, 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 an ecosystem, where uh, all these um, components uh, can be uh, organized uh, in, into 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 uh, a system uh, for supporting uh, learning that um, require uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, thinking and a lot of uh, considerations uh, actually from all uh, actors uh, in the educational process also um, among uh, from the students uh, of course in the basic education uh, we can see uh, several um, frameworks um, i'm talking now about the uh, european uh, educational area uh, in europe um, one of the most well known framework is the European key competences for lifelong learning. Actually, this was one of the first um, all uh, European educational framework, educational initiative. And we can see that new and new uh, frameworks are uh, appearing. One of them is called the digital uh, competence framework, but we have also uh, sustainable uh, development uh, in education, sustainability uh, competences uh, framework, which is uh, quite a fresh one and a very interesting one. And it has many uh, connections uh, to, to STEAM. So we can see that how uh, we have a more and more uh, uh, systematic uh, approach uh, to, to the development uh, of uh, of 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 this uh, uh, holistic uh, approaches so uh, if uh, we want to consider uh, uh, steam uh, impact uh, on the competence development we can see that uh, collaboration uh, becomes um, highly important and uh, let's uh, try to uh, translate it uh, to uh, the adult education. So we will see that, uh, for example, in the adult education, how those kind of practices like mentoring uh, becomes uh, very, very important. Uh, of course, uh, peer learning, uh, we can see that uh, that's uh, also uh, among uh, these uh, opportunities but not only on the learning level, but uh, uh, collaborative teaching is, is very important. So uh, the integrations, of course, because the 
whole uh, STEAM approach or STEM approach is all about uh, integration. And uh, we will see also that uh, a mixture uh, of various pedagogical approaches uh, will be uh, very important. Uh, so it's not anymore uh, just uh, choosing uh, one certain way, one certain method uh, to uh, run um, a learning uh, a learning occasion or a, or a learning event, but um, it's it's possible uh, to to change uh, between uh, teaching styles, learning styles, and uh, accommodate uh, the the process, adapt the process uh, to the to the learners' need uh, needs, and uh, make the process um, as much engaging, as much participative as possible. So this has been really uh, important uh, when it comes to the uh, integration. So uh, when we talk about uh, also the outcomes, I already mentioned some products uh, in the uh, in the uh, education process. So maybe uh, these uh, outcomes are um, are uh, part uh, of the uh, course already. So maybe there are several outcomes, several artifacts, uh, which are uh, uh, results uh, of the education process. However, uh, there can be uh, other uh, goals uh, realized, like um, uh, to uh, achieve uh, more um, uh, well-being or higher, higher level of well-being uh, in, in our life or achieving uh, some career goals and uh, many, many other uh, goals uh, uh, can be mentioned uh, also when it comes uh, to the uh, adult uh, education. So um, we can see uh, that this kind of configurations uh, can be um, uh, recognized uh, in uh, when, when we start to study that uh, how STEAM education taking place uh, in um, in uh, basic uh, uh, learning and the basic uh, educational uh, scene. And uh, we have uh, a lot of examples of different devices uh, in the classroom. So uh, like 3D printer, augmented uh, reality. So a lot of technology uh, appearing, but uh, STEAM is really uh, the opportunity to uh, combine uh, these uh, digital solutions uh, with the hands-on uh, opportunities. So uh, you can see uh, on the uh, screen uh, quite a few um, examples uh, from the basic education. And it's also obvious uh, that uh, all <clears throat> these tools uh, need to be learned uh, how, how, how we can use them uh, effectively uh, and, and not definitely not uh, only if we are teachers, but uh, also in daily life. So many times uh, these tools uh, can be learned uh, to be used uh, rather uh, in adult education uh, trainings. So um, we can uh, see on the screen uh, quite a few uh, examples from the uh, basic education. These are uh, connected uh, to uh, 3D printing. You can see that uh, these uh, tendencies, uh, these um, uh, applications, these uh, implementations, uh, for example, of 3D printing is taking place uh, in many parts uh, around the world. Uh, so this is really a, a global trend uh, to, to explore uh, this. And um, I, I could uh, show uh, many more um, examples of this, but uh, maybe uh, it's, it's good uh, to uh, uh, to turn uh, our attention now uh, to the um, adult, adult education. So uh, let me uh, stop the screen, screen sharing uh, for a while. Meanwhile, uh, I see that we got uh, greetings from Azerbaijan. Hello, hello, Gunel. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm just opening uh, another uh, file which will uh, take us closer uh, to the uh, adult education uh, scene. So uh, let's uh, talk a little bit uh, about uh, the 
benefits, uh, methods, and uh, opportunities for adults uh, to engage in STEM and STEAM education. So we can see already uh, quite a few examples. I will also uh, tell a few examples of uh, STEAM uh, courses uh, that have been uh, uh, already um, in the market or, or could be uh, in the market uh, of uh, adult education. And uh, I hope that uh, this will also inspire you uh, for uh, uh, revealing uh, 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 your own ideas uh, and uh, and also maybe to uh, find yourself as a potential adult educator or a potential provider of uh, adult education courses or uh, a participant uh, of such courses because also uh, these roles uh, are uh, apparent uh, in in all of our lives and uh, and uh, we uh, are all uh, teachers and learners uh, in in various uh, situations so we we can see uh, stem uh, and uh, steam uh, courses uh, uh, that uh, and, and and learning opportunities uh, as i mentioned uh, that these are not just uh, for the youth and, and learning is definitely uh, not just uh, for the youth we already uh, had um, uh, quite a few uh, slides, quite a few uh, time uh, when we uh, talked about that how the uh, career cycle is changing and uh, how the uh, learning opportunities are uh, more and more uh, important uh, for every uh, age group, uh, uh, also for uh, learners in the in the so-called third age or or senior age. And what we can also recognize, for example, if you look at uh, the, the Finnish uh, uh, career uh, uh, statistics data as a, as a new midlife. So that's, that's very important. And uh, we can see uh, that uh, we, we have more opportunities uh, also for addressing, uh, for example, diverse uh, uh, set uh, of uh, age groups uh, in, in the adult education. So, uh, but uh, what are those uh, considerations which uh, need to be uh, taken into account uh, when uh, we talk about uh, adults learning uh, and uh, STEM and STEAM? So we can see that uh, uh, adults uh, learn, uh, or we can also experience that we as an ad adults learning probably differently uh, than uh, children uh, learn. So, uh, of course, we have much more life experiences, usually also uh, in uh, most of the cases, uh, this uh, also uh, comes uh, with uh, maybe a little bit more or different or more diverse uh, no knowledge. And um, we can see that um, uh, this is uh, also um, an opportunity uh, for us but uh, this can also uh, hinder us uh, in, in some situations. So uh, somehow uh, maybe uh, our openness uh, is uh, not uh, wide enough uh, to, um, uh, to uh, get uh, the, the same, get into the same uh, kind of level of engagement or, or we need to be approached uh, on, on different levels. Also uh, the nature uh, and the role of learning is very, very different, um, usually in, in adult age, that um, sometimes um, we want uh, to have uh, more hands-on, more, more practical applications uh, to, to be learned. We, maybe we don't have time anymore to um, be engaged in a multi-year uh, long um, uh, learning uh, process uh, but we want to or, or if we are then we want to break it down uh, to more practical uh, more smaller modules what we can sort of immediately uh, implement uh, into into practice so uh, this is um, something uh, what uh, might be uh, might, might make um, uh, special uh, these these uh, courses 
Also, <clears throat> we already talked about uh, the opportunities in connection with mobile learning and uh, different uh, kind of uh, devices uh, to be used. So uh, we definitely uh, we need a much higher degree of flexibility. So uh, we many times have jobs, uh, families, duties, which require uh, very flexible uh, learning schedules. So uh, this also needs to be uh, considered uh, when we think about the format uh, of uh, learning in connection with the uh, adults learning. Uh, many times uh, these so-called asynchronous uh, online courses, uh, so-called massive open online courses and uh, or, or, or so-called community uh, colleges um, or uh, uh, people's uh, school or or uh, just uh, privately uh, found uh, opportunities uh, outside of the institutions. Uh, these these uh, can uh, be important um, uh, to serve our our needs, serve our uh, needs uh, in connection, for example, with with flexibility. So this is this is also uh, quite uh, important. And uh, when uh, I told about uh, the uh, different uh, learning styles uh, in connection also uh, with the experiences, knowledge, uh, we can also see uh, probably many times a different attitude uh, in, in case uh, of, a, of an adult learner. Maybe... Uh, it's uh, it would be easier to uh, to uh, to learn about uh, that that I mean to uh, accommodate uh, with the with the thought that we can learn from our failures uh, in a, in an early uh, early life uh, uh, period. So when we are children, uh, maybe it's easier to to. Uh, to to find out that uh, we we can learn uh, from our uh, mistakes if if we are surrounded with a supportive um, um, adults and uh, and also our community supporting us maybe it's uh, easier to accept uh, uh, mistakes than uh, for example uh, for for an adult in a in a certain social position so uh, this also requires uh, consideration. So uh, many adults are more self-conscious about failure. And uh, it's very important, uh, of course, in every level, but a different attention is needed uh, to be given uh, among children and, and also among adults uh, for uh, to be respectful and, and non-judgmental in the uh, learning occasions. So uh, definitely to encourage more open, willing approach to uh, tackle uh, new challenges and also uh, to uh, accept different um, uh, thinking, different uh, mindset. Uh, this, this is also uh, very important uh, to, to consider uh, even uh, when we are uh, designing or providing uh, learning material uh, for uh, adult learners. We also see that uh, there are uh, many uh, more uh, ways uh, to engage uh, in STEM uh, or STEM learning uh, as an adult. So it's not necessarily even uh, to uh, take up or or um, or to um, uh, enroll uh, into a formal course. So. All of us uh, is reading or watching uh, online uh, resources or listening uh, to podcasts. So uh, we, we can see a lot of uh, STEAM related uh, online uh, channels uh, for uh, quality content. So this is certainly a, a possibility to uh, get more uh, information also uh, to to find uh, learners uh, in 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 through these channels so to start a podcast uh, for example but uh, also uh, to uh, offer um, our skills to share our competencies in our own community 
So that's definitely uh, a possibility. So uh, community classes uh, and boot camps uh, could be even self-organized. But there are also institutions around which can be partners uh, for us uh, to, to, to launch uh, these kind of uh, opportunities. I already mentioned the uh, so-called MOOCs. So uh, we, we know edX, uh, Coursera, Khan Academy, TED uh, Talks uh, are available just to uh, mention a few. But um, you can find, um, for example, in the case of the uh, MOOCs or Khan Academy, which also provide assessments. So, so not only uh, just the content, but there is a real uh, learning uh, process uh, is designed um, with, with this uh, online uh, course opportunity. And of course, uh, nature, everyday life uh, is uh, providing a lot of opportunities. And also, if we uh, just engage in a do-it-yourself project, uh, maybe coming together uh, with, with friends or like-minded uh, people in our community uh, to start uh, something uh, do it yourself uh, project uh, that's that's also a learning opportunity uh, which we can also uh, design more uh, consciously uh, more with more awareness uh, when we uh, consider it um, as a as an opportunity uh, in uh, stem or steam learning so we can see that um, how uh, these uh, opportunities uh, are, uh, for example, improving uh, cognitive functions, also uh, for uh, improving careers, um, or just personal enrichment. Uh, the, these these are uh, really uh, uh, those those opportunities uh, and and those motivations actually uh, what we can uh, also also consider. Uh, when we uh, design uh, an adult learning uh, portfolio, uh, when we uh, want to use STEAM uh, for approach uh, for adult learning. So let's um, take a look uh, more uh, uh, into, into uh, these um, motivations and uh, into these um, goals. So um, if... Uh, someone uh, want to gain uh, cognitive benefits uh, by uh, taking uh, a learning opportunity. So uh, this can be also combined, of course, with many other motivations, like uh, to be in an engaging community and to develop together uh, with others, others, to get more interaction uh, in, in, in my community or find uh, people with the same interest, uh, same hobby, uh, like like me. So this is this is quite uh, usual. Um, uh, I'm just uh, want to mention uh, a few. So uh, in connection also with those topics uh, which um, uh, we already uh, talked about, like this uh, changing uh, career cycle. So um, if we are looking uh, for the uh, cognitive uh, benefits. So um, these opportunities, uh, adult learning opportunities, uh, could be uh, good uh, tools to reduce the decline, uh, cognitive decline associated uh, with aging, keep the mind sharp, <laughs> to say so, and engaging into uh, problem-solving tasks. So uh, you can... Um, also imagine uh, or, or find uh, courses which is not uh, only for the um, uh, people in the in the senior age but uh, for any age groups like brain fitness uh, through coding uh, for example so uh, this uh, can be uh, many uh, practical outcomes uh, as well so learning coding uh, that's um, uh, important and um, <clears throat> that can be also a very practical but definitely uh, it can be also approached from uh, another aspect that how it develops logical reasoning problem solving and complex uh, thinking 
So, um, of course, uh, this, this um, uh, is uh, uh, one one example uh, from the from the many, and uh, we know uh, also uh, from research that how computational thinking uh, can engage uh, various parts of the brain, how logical reasoning uh, can improve uh, structured thinking, and uh, how memory. Uh, can be uh, improved and how the attention uh, uh, can be trained uh, through, uh, for example, uh, these, uh, coding uh, exercises. So uh, we can see uh, in this example uh, a large uh, impact uh, in cognitive well-being, but definitely uh, for uh, people with other goals uh, can increase uh, their job marketability. And uh, at the same time, uh, for all who are coming uh, with any uh, kind of um, interests, uh, it helps to keep the brain uh, fit uh, and agile. But um, we can also uh, see uh, many uh, other examples, like um, what about to think about uh, uh, astronomy, uh, hobby, amateur, uh, astronomer uh, course. If we look at it uh, from the STEAM methodology uh, perspective, we can see that how uh, such a course, such a project uh, could um, develop spatial awareness. So how we can uh, understand uh, astronomical scale, distances, and uh, how our uh, spatial reasoning, how our spatial abilities uh, could be uh, also developed uh, through uh, this, um, and, and also global awareness and uh, many uh, other, um, uh, other topics. But um, in connection with uh, critical thinking and uh, being more uh, protected uh, against, for example, fake science, fake news. So you can see also a lot of social uh, benefits uh, for uh, uh, to being engaged uh, in, in, in such a program. And as you can see, uh, this is uh, not necessarily need to be based uh, on some very uh, specific uh, content. So it's not something uh, to be uh, mistaken uh, with the with the physics uh, master's program or or a or a more um, scientific um, research um, um, research training, but uh, it's really uh, about uh, for the joy of learning, for the joy of discovery. So how to use the telescope and. Uh, what are the basics uh, of the celestial bodies and the movements, understanding some um, uh, events uh, like eclipses, uh, meteor showers. We can also see uh, that uh, these uh, courses, these learning opportunities may be organized around a cosmic event uh, which, which is coming. So I uh, remember that um, when uh, some sun eclipse uh, could have been uh, were, were, were observed uh, from from Europe, uh, there were a lot of uh, these uh, communities uh, provided uh, some basic uh, starter knowledge starter kits uh, for the people uh, who who wanted to to study this. And of course, uh, digital competencies uh, have been uh, mentioned. So uh, digital literacy uh, is very important, internet safety, cyber security, uh, and also basic uh, software applic applications, what we are uh, using uh, like very often, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint. So we all uh, can uh, learn uh, something uh, new uh, about this. But as you can see um, uh, from the competence uh, uh, perspective, uh, this can uh, have also much broader impact uh, for problem solving, developing uh, our attention to the to the details. And uh, this also uh, contributes uh, to our uh, 
uh, to our uh, well-being um, in, 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 in our life. Actually, there is a very uh, classic example of uh, this kind of um, adult education opportunities. So creative writing uh, courses uh, have been around uh, a long time ago um, in the um, adult education uh, market. And we can uh, see that um, uh, these are uh, developing uh, also uh, a lot of a lot of skills, a lot of uh, practical uh, outcomes uh, we can get, but it also uh, contributes very well to the self-expression and self-fulfillment. Uh, even artistic uh, development um, is, is a very important uh, goal uh, can be to participate uh, in, in such courses. However, on a other, uh, uh, on another, uh, um, on another uh, level, uh, this can uh, develop uh, memory, uh, emotional intelligence uh, as well. So, uh, we can see uh, that uh, how uh, these skills uh, can be developed, but also when we consider a creative writing community, uh, constructive criticism, peer reviews uh, are also a part, a natural part uh, of the of the process, and uh, this definitely uh, contributes uh, to the uh, cognitive uh, health as well. Uh, if we talk about some other uh, STEAM uh, areas, so everyday mathematics from budgets to baking, uh, this this is uh, also another uh, topic uh, when when we can see that uh, how a subject which uh, we know from the school uh, can be also uh, very useful in daily life and. Um, a very practical uh, setting, uh, even in connection with the sustainable lifestyle, uh, when we think about uh, health and budget and cooking at the same time, uh, this this can be a very uh, nice opportunity uh, to uh, get uh, more training in analytical skills. Uh, and uh, understanding uh, different uh, aspects uh, in an analytic thinking as well through uh, this engaging uh, topic. So, but in addition to the <coughs> cognitive uh, uh, needs uh, and, and, and cognitive uh, motivations, um, we can uh, see that, um, for example, the mentorship uh, opportunities, the peer learning in among adults uh, and mentoring each other and me or mentoring uh, different uh, different uh, segments um, in the in the society and in in the community uh, that how we can uh, build up ourselves uh, as potential mentors in our in our community that uh, becomes uh, very important and not only peer mentoring but how adults can mentor younger people also, or elderly people. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, another um, opportunity that uh, we can uh, systematically prepare for, uh, for example, through uh, STEAM uh, courses. So uh, how we can uh, become uh, uh, proficient uh, in those uh, skills and 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 competences and knowledges uh, what uh, we want to use in our in our in our mentoring and how we want to benefit uh, for uh, different groups uh, through uh, mentoring so again uh, a few examples and and you can see that uh, these are very closely connected uh, to uh, practices what we uh, can what we call volunteering. So volunteering is very uh, popular. Uh, fortunately, is a very uh, nice way uh, of uh, community service. Uh, and we can also consider volunteering opportunities, uh, which uh, maybe require uh, some kind of preparation, some kind of training, or how we can learn uh, from our uh, volunteering experience. This is also uh, quite uh, interesting. 
uh, question. So uh, we can imagine uh, such kind of uh, adult education opportunities, uh, which is uh, preparing us uh, to uh, be a community science fair uh, mentor, uh, for example. So um, this um, is also uh, very, very, very complex and, um, and at the same time very rewarding uh, for uh, all uh, participants in the, in the mentoring process. So uh, this can be connected uh, with um, hands-on um, experiences, improving uh, presentation skills, improving demonstration skills or uh, collecting more information about those topics uh, which are presented in the in the science but also uh, it can be a very nice opportunity to uh, improve our social uh, skills socializing skills communication uh, skills and uh, at the uh, same time it's it's very rewarding uh, to raise uh, the scientific curiosity or critical thinking uh, among the visitors uh, of the of the science fair or uh, coding has been already mentioned so uh, also uh, not only just to consider this topic from the uh, perspective of the learner but uh, consider uh, this uh, from the perspective of the trainer so uh, it's also not uh, necessarily obvious that how we can become a mentor uh, if we have certain skills. So if we can know how to code, that not necessarily makes us uh, uh, to be a mentor or to be a teacher in adult education, but um, uh, we can also develop um, our um, uh, skills uh, to for mentorship uh, in this field uh, through uh, um, an adult education uh, opportunity. We also see that uh, extracurricular uh, activities uh, becoming more and more important uh, in schools and also uh, in more traditional uh, venues of education. But uh, many times, uh, there are topics uh, which uh, also require uh, some specific uh, knowledge. And for example, robotics um, in, in Finland is not part of uh, every uh, school's uh, basic uh, activities. Uh, however, we can see uh, that uh, there are uh, robotics clubs uh, can be uh, organized where um, also the, those persons who uh, provide this maybe not necessarily a teacher by training but uh, they can they can prepare uh, how to be uh, how to be effective uh, mentors uh, and how to serve a school uh, community <clears throat> through the uh, through a robotics uh, club so uh, this means uh, that uh, these these opportunities are mutually uh, rewarding uh, for uh, the mentors and the mentees and uh, this uh, can be uh, explored um, more uh, further further explored so uh, in adult uh, education we can see also uh, the career advancement uh, as a as an opportunity and uh, uh, of course uh, this uh, is very much uh, connected uh, to learn new skills, for example, new digital skills or new uh, new, um, uh, uh, new new kind of um, um, uh, professional uh, areas uh, to, to become new experts, uh, new expertise uh, in, in different uh, levels and then in different areas. So we can see a lot of uh, opportunities in the multidisciplinary uh, approaches uh, to provide uh, more appropriate uh, help support uh, in the in the career uh, advancement so again uh, a few uh, examples so environmental sciences sustainability uh, these are emerging uh, areas 
and uh, we can see that uh, a new uh, new uh, knowledge, uh, new new understanding, new areas are uh, appearing uh, in connection uh, with this and uh, a lot of coaching, a lot of um, a lot of uh, change uh, in the in the mindset is needed uh, to um, to. Uh, go uh, to be able to uh, happily uh, uh, go with the change. So uh, it's needed to have new more information about ecosystems, biodiversity, sustainable development, and uh, I think uh, case studies uh, and uh, good examples to be shared uh, are very important, uh, and and this can be done uh, in such uh, communities, like um, to become uh, more sustainable consumer of uh, different products or more sustainable producer of different uh, products. So these are really uh, uh, those areas uh, where we uh, need to uh, develop. But we can also see that how the creative uh, industries are uh, emerging. And um, these are also new areas, new combination of, uh, of, of different uh, expertise are coming together. So uh, just to say uh, a, a few examples, so in digital marketing, content creation, project management. So uh, this is um, again uh, an area uh, where we can see that uh, these kind of adult learning opportunities are becoming very important. How to use, for example, the artificial intelligence in marketing, uh, we, we hear a lot uh, about this. Uh, but um, also uh, when we think about digital marketing and design thinking, these are definitely also those areas uh, which uh, not necessarily uh, we want uh, to study uh, in a uh, university. If we are already entrepreneurs, we maybe don't have uh, that time and uh, investment uh, to um, to 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 learn all the details, but uh, maybe want to uh, develop uh, in smaller bits in very specific uh, areas. So, I hope that uh, these uh, opportunities um, have been um, inspiring uh, for you and uh, maybe uh, opened uh, new. Uh, ways of uh, thought uh, for, for you in connection uh, with uh, adult learning and STEAM. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, this course uh, have contributed uh, to uh, your uh, personal uh, development as well. Now I switch off uh, the recording and uh, we will have 